people. We got to put these isolated racist um, incidents on blast with these jobs. These jobs are taking advantage of us because job or job from out the Bible. These jobs is taking advantage of us because we had to pay. We had to pay to live on earth. We had to pay for food, which is not natural. Money is not natural. Paying is not natural. A job is not natural. But let's talk about Hudson News Distribution, owned by Jewish uh, Caucasians, probably Ashkenazi Jews. But um, this is a racist environment. It's, it's called Hudson Warehouse Distribution. They underpay you. They overwork you. They force you to do things you ain't even qualified for or certified for. Um, I reported them to OSHA for a shitload of fucking health issues from black dust to they don't even have an air purifier to force me to get on a forklift they forced me to get a forklift when i was making when i was working for minimum wage and part-time they told me they'd fire me so i had to report them just to get off the forklift so i reported them got off the forklift then later on down the line they made me full time and um they was giving me overtime but they was only giving me overtime because later on they was asking me to help them steal gas they didn't ask me they just told me that they're gonna gas up the truck but they was pulling up their personal vehicles and stealing gas from the company. I reported them. Mind you, these are these are not even black people. It's a Hispanic and some type of Arab brown skinned dude. But they were stealing gas. I reported them. Nothing happened. A Caucasian hit a truck. I reported them. Nothing happened. No piss test. Mind you, the policies say you must get piss test if there's an injury or accident. Boom. So black people getting piss test. Black people getting piss test. Black people underpaid. They're paying the white people on the overnight more than the black people, unbeknownst to us. And I'm also, they was forcing me to drive the forklift. Like I told you, I had, to, I had to do a complaint just to get off the forklift. And then later on, when they made me full-time, they said, you got to get a forklift or you're going to fire your ass. So I got my first forklift certificate. Didn't even do the hands-on training, so I did half a training. Like, they they just trying to beat around the bush all the time. Got the warehouse, got black dust, black dust all in my lungs when I sneeze, when I spit. I got all the evidence. I reported them to OSHA. Several times I hurt myself and they asked me to take a piss test And I said do you only piss test black people then they fire me so they won't have to do workers comp and pay me so two birds one stone and also They downsize and they lose the business, you know, it's a racist company. They sell magazines. Who the fuck buy magazines? What is they selling magazines to people in prison, but for the most part they was taking the, uh Ripping the first page off it so they can um get a credit, you know, what I mean they still have money all they goddamn trucks is a DOT violation. The warehouse is an OSHA violation. The trucks is a DOT violation. Everything fucked up. Shit got mirrors missing. Ties fucked up. The, the trailer ties fucked up. They sit right here and tell you that you must be supervised at midnight, but then when I got get hurt at midnight, nobody's there. You see what I'm saying? Policies only apply when they want them to apply, you know what I mean? You gotta take a piss test if you black. It don't. It should. It say they don't want to put it on there because it's a lawsuit. You know what I'm saying? If it's a piss test for only black people, it'll be a lawsuit. It'd be written <laughs> discrimination. See, that's why they take things off paper. If it ain't on paper, it don't exist. That's why we're making this video. Shit going on YouTube. We they gonna hear the story? Maybe, maybe not. Sometimes they gotta die for for the nigga story to get out around this bitch. But you know we gotta expose it. It's tough being black. Anywhere they always call us monkeys when they dissatisfied. They only happy with us when we useful. When they can use us. They don't help us, they use us. And give us cotton money and our ancestors pick the cotton. It's finesse. So we exposing them. They underpaying black people, they overworking black people. We don't get the same opportunity as, as none of these children out the caves. See that's the difference between us and everybody else. Black people, we come from the jungles. We're not coming out of no goddamn... We're not knuckle-walking out of no cave. They knuckle-walking out of that cave, all of them. The Hispanics, the Indians, Dravidians, Afro-Asiatics, Indo-Europeans, Mongoloids, Asians, Eurasian. Anybody that don't have wide nose, platyrine, catarine, full lips, protruding jaw, woolly, kinky hair, type 4, EU melanin. You ain't African, you coming out that jungle. And remember, this is King Jarir in your ear. I'm so fit, I don't fit in this. The chaos edition, not your edition. We must remember, money is cotton, our ancestors pick cotton. I say money is cotton and our ancestors pick cotton. I say money is cotton and our ancestors pick cotton.